one of the bridesmaid to my best friend's wedding constantly pushes my buttons and called me desperate and fat, so I told them there's not enough room for both of us, and either she leaves or I bounce. The people in this story are my best friend Jane, her brother Elliot, and his girlfriend of two years, Kathy. Jane is marrying her fiancé Tom in July, and she asked me to be her maid of honor. This was sort of expected, as Jane is essentially a sister to me. I was surprised, however, that she asked her brother's girlfriend, Kathy, to be a bridesmaid. Jane later confided that Kathy had kind of pressured her into it, and she had done it to make Elliot happy. The issue is, Kathy hates me, like seriously hates me. She blames me for all the issues she has with Elliot and Jane's parents, and for her not having a better friendship with Jane. She also thinks I'm trying to steal Elliot from her, I'm not, but also cannot handle whenever he and I disagree on anything and will go way overboard defending him and arguing with me. I was determined to put this all aside for Jane, though. This was actually not going too badly, but last weekend we went to a bridal shop to choose bridesmaid dresses. Jane mentioned that she wanted Elliot and me to walk down the aisle together, and Kathy lost it. She called me desperate, crazy, a pick-me, a fake, fat, and a bunch of other things. Looking back, I probably should have said more than I did, but at that moment, I could see how everyone was looking at her, and I didn't want them looking at me the same way, so I literally just said, yeah, I'm not dealing with this. Either she's out, or I am, and picked up my stuff and left. Because of this, Jane has said that Kathy can't be a bridesmaid anymore because she wants me as maid of honor. This has caused issues with Kathy, and Elliot by extension. Both Elliot and Kathy have apologized and said Kathy will behave better for all the wedding events, but I'm not willing to budge. Jane's mother and my mother both think I should drop the ultimatum, and I don't want to make things hard on Jane, so I'm rethinking. But I know there are other things she will try to cause issues with me over, and I just don't know how long I can keep being the bigger person with her. Update 1. So, I saw a lot of people saying they wanted an update, and people were really kind offering advice, so I thought I would provide some closure on this saga. I decided that it would be best to speak to Jane and confirm how she wanted to handle it. I told her that as much as I don't want to deal with Kathy, I'm not seriously going to stick to the ultimatum. Jane said she is definitely not having Kathy as a bridesmaid and that she's sorry it even came to me having to say that. We agreed that Jane would handle any questions about Kathy and say that it wasn't about my ultimatum. Regarding Jane and the bridesmaid situation, a lot of people were saying her aesthetic choice didn't make sense, and you were partially correct. She admitted she mostly just didn't want Elliot and Kathy to be photographed together. I told her she's a complete moron, affectionately, for not telling me because we could have prepared for this better. Elliot and I also met up to talk. He explained that Kathy has a bad relationship with her family, which is why she was really hoping to bond with his. He also said she has a lot of insecurities and that she projected a lot of these issues onto me. As for why, he shed some light on this, too. Elliot's best friend, my family by marriage, shared some things with her and kind of over-egged some stories, setting Kathy on this path of thinking I was Regina George, basically. Elliot has tried to correct her, but she won't hear it. Regarding her thinking I'm trying to steal him, some of you were right. She does think that my hanging out with his family means I must not dislike him as much as I say. She thinks that because I have a history of dating people close to him, which boils down to two people years apart, I must secretly like him. Elliot agrees this is crazy, but Kathy just won't let go of this idea. As for us walking together, I said I would support him asking Jane if he could walk with another bridesmaid, but if she insists, I'm going to be on her side, and Elliot agreed that was fair. He said he's been trying to be understanding of her issues, but he sees now it was wrong to force the bridesmaid issue, and he's going to focus on helping Kathy in a way that doesn't involve everyone else from now on. I left it there in regards to Kathy because it's not my place to comment. Our conversation actually turned out to be pretty productive. Elliot and I aired out a lot of things from when we were kids that I guess were overdue for a conversation. We'll never be best friends, but we are getting a joint Father's Day gift for his dad, so that's something. I'm still going to be as civil to Kathy because, honestly, she clearly has much bigger issues than whatever issues she has with me, and adding to it just seems pointless. Anyway, that's all. We will definitely be watching her for any drama at the wedding, but for now, that's it.